Hi, this is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, it feels good to be back um, here recording, sharing what's going on. I really have missed it. And once again, I know, Finn, you haven't necessarily, but it feels good to be back. Well, it feels good to be back. In the last video where we had come back after five months of not having recorded or shared anything, I talked about or I mentioned um, routine and overwhelm. And I know that I'm not alone in suffering from the inability to find some sort of routine. Um, I think part of it is that we are all, not just me, but all of us are so incredibly overwhelmed. It feels like um, there's this expectation that not only do we pick up and pretend that the pandemic didn't happen, that we pretend that there wasn't trauma associated with it, and that we are pretending that it isn't continuing to happen, but we're expected to make up for lost time. So what, wherever we were and whatever, wherever we're going, we're supposed to get there faster than ever. So a lot of us are really scraping the bottom of our energy buckets. Um, I think emotionally, psychologically, even physically, a lot of us are truly exhausted. I've talked to so many people who are feeling the same way. And also at the same time, we are lacking routine, largely because we're all just kind of wondering, well, what's going on? Where are we going? The Delta variant hasn't really helped matters. And as a result, we're, a lot of us are just kind of floating around and struggling to find our footing. Uh, I realized that just this past weekend that I was so completely out of balance. I have this client project that is consuming, it was supposed to be eight hours a week, and I'm working, I build out 120 hours in the month of September. This is in addition to this other new venture, new opportunity that I'm working on and trying to be present for Finn and having an intentional relationship with my husband and trying to spend time with my friends, let alone any sort of self-care. And I realized over the weekend I was completely out of balance. What's incredibly frustrating about this is that I think sometime during the, the quarantine, I talked about how with everything, so much being stripped away from us so quickly that we had the opportunity when things started to get back to normal to pick and choose what we wanted to add back. And I feel like I was doing a pretty good job of it. And then this client project and then this other thing hit and then all of a sudden it was like slam. You know, I was completely slammed and completely overwhelmed and inundated by all of these things and these obligations. And it was like, wait a second, this isn't, this is not healthy for me and I know that this isn't how I want to live my life. So put the brakes and some stuff over the weekend, pushed back on a couple of other things. I know it's going to take some time to get rebalanced, but I went flying, I um, played some tennis, I have time scheduled with friends every night this week while well, my husband Zeke has been gone on a bike trip in New York. Finn and I have been spending time together cooking and um, we have uh, a mom child date night tomorrow night and you know just trying to make sure that I'm living the life living an intentional life and living the life that I want even though there are all of these other demands um, I'm gonna have a couple about a couple more midnight work sessions um, to get through this so that I can rebalance it but this feeling was so incredibly uncomfortable and I think I put on four pounds in a couple of weeks and this was after dropping 20 earlier in the year and I'm like, wait a second, this is not where I want to be sliding. And it isn't so much just the weight, it's just how I feel in my body and um, it's just not healthy. Okay, so, and probably the half of the half of the container of Rocky Road ice cream probably wasn't super healthy, but you know, too much wine <laughs> on Whiskey Wednesday probably was, major factor in that but you know I can do that as long as that's not happening all of the time so anyway I was wondering how are all of you doing are you suffering a similar uh, experience where things have been have crept in and all of a sudden you're feeling crowded again and wondering how you're gonna get everything done and still live a life of your own design and your own creation um, as I said I'm struggling and I know a number of my friends are struggling as well and this is where routine also comes in, finding a way to add back in those anchors so that I can um, feel like my feet are solidly on the ground so that I can be um, much more selective and intentional about all the things that I'm adding back. So if you have any ideas or things that are working or aren't or um, you know uh, anything along those lines, please go ahead and drop a note in the comments or 
you know, send me an email. The contact information is in the is in the show description. So, Finn, did I cover pretty much everything? As far as I know. So, how are you feeling? Are you feeling? I mean, things are always wacky this time of the semester. Um, I'm definitely spending more time on schoolwork than pretty much anything else. Yeah, but that's midterms. But I mean, that's, that's short term. Yeah. But I think recently I've been a lot be better about um, balancing social life and school stuff and work stuff and college apps. So... Yeah, there's a lot going on, and then finding a way to balance all of that. You know, I want to be able to model something better than I have in the past, and um, kind of like what what your dad and I are trying to model with our relationship now versus before, which is a tease for another video because we'll definitely talk about that. Um, doing all the teasers. I am doing all of the teasers. So I think with that, uh, as usual, uh, let go of perfection, take some risks, and above all else, have some fun. <laughs>